so happy it's Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm so happy it's Monday. Move, move, move your body. Good morning, Center Elementary School. How are we doing? Happy Monday. My name is Mr. Nutty Napoli. Today is Monday, April 6, 2020, and I am coming to you live from the Beehive. Hope everyone had a great weekend. So, to get our day off started, nice and early this Monday morning, we're going to start, as we always do, parents, students, staff, please join me in um, standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone. You may be seated. All right, so here we are Monday. Gosh, week three of our distance learning. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, we received a lot of good emails, uh, Pictures. I'll talk about that in a little bit from students and families, some experiences they've had over the weekend. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk about a few things real quick today because I want everyone to get right to work, boys and girls, because we have a four day week only with Friday being Good Friday. Um, so Mr. Stevens emailed on Sunday night, last night, our interim learning plan for the week, this week three, April 6th through 10th except we're going obviously Monday the 6th through the 9th on Thursday um, with the breakdown of all the requirements for our students to be doing from grades K through four, as well as the middle school uh, and also preschool. So um, I just want to make sure everyone received this learning plan. Mr. Stevens, the administrative team's letter, an updated letter, and then some glossary or terms to kind of help folks know what these programs are all about and um, the direction we're going in. So with the interim learning plan, boys and girls, for Monday and this whole, these four days, take a very close look. These are what we require. Supplementals or additional activities from your classroom teachers as well as the special area teachers like art, music, and PE, and Spanish and whatnot. So these are what we wanna require. So for instance, for example, today is Monday. So the center school preschoolers are doing this home link packet for uh, 20 minutes at least um, in math. Kindergartners are going to continue in the Splash Math program as of right now. Grades 1 through 4 this week will do I Ready Math for 30 minutes at, very, at the very least and also Extra Math for 15 minutes for some foundational math work. And the I Ready is aligned with our um, Connecticut Core Standards, the Common Core Standards. So there's a little bit of both in there, which is a good balance. So about 45 minutes of math at the minimum. You can do more. Um, and then for language arts for center school, preschool is doing zoophonics and some games. If you have any questions with preschool, please reach out to Mrs. Bergen. She's our preschool teacher this year, and she'll be happy to help you. With, you can email her, um, and she'll be happy to help you with any of the programs or the online platform that we're using. Um, in kindergarten through second grade, this week we're starting a new program called Lexia. It's something some of the kids are familiar with. It's, it does a lot of phonics work early early. Um, you know, literacy components that um, children need at an early age that will help them and give good practice for letters and sounds, okay? So be on the lookout for Mrs. Stevens to send out an email. If you have any problems, you can re email her directly, okay? But Lexi, it will be a good tool and it's very engaging for our children. That's for at least 20 minutes. I'm hearing kids are really enjoying it. Um, kindergarten through fourth grade, you can read a book on your own today. For a minimum of 20 minutes, you can jump on Epic. I plan to do an Epic read aloud this week using books online, free uh, books. Just create an Epic account through your teacher. And then grades three and four will do iReady for the minimum of 30 minutes, but you can do more. Um, and then of course, kindergarten through fourth graders, we want you to continue to write. We want you to keep using that writing brain and to write on uh, different topics that your teachers might provide or the topics that are on the actual learning plan. And also parents plan for Hall Middle School is on here as well. Uh, the second page are all the supplementals, extra assignments, you know, different types of activities, more hands-on with art, music, PE, things that are, are, you know, some of them are on Google Google Classroom and then Ms. Spector has some activities that are 
are more um, activity based with some resources or materials you would use from home for art. art. All right, so that's the learning plan. If you have any questions, you can reach out to your teacher. That's great. Um, or further questions, you can contact me, but do reach out to your teacher first because they have a good handle on this and they're tracking and reviewing student information and data points and, and reaching out to families if there's any questions or if kids are doing really well, making adjustments as needed with the lessons. All right, so a few more things. Um, please, send, keep, please, send and kept, yeah, please keep sending pictures to us, um, to myself or Ms. Spector or Ms. Redding. We put that slideshow together. Please check your email from Friday afternoon. Um, I wanna thank publicly Ms. Spector and Ms. Mrs. Redding um, for putting together the slideshow for the families of Center Elementary School. It was a great uh, picture of what all of our students are doing at home and we miss you dearly and we're really excited to see that you're engaged in your learning and doing some fun activities as well. So keep sending pictures. This weekend I got some from Addison Calla, one of our kindergartners from Ms. Swanson's class. She stopped by the school out on the blacktop and. Uh, the driveway and wrote some really positive, nice messages to her teachers. It was great. She said hello to me. So hi, Addison. Hello. Keep up the great work. And you will be president one day. I know it. Um, and also, I received some pictures from the, the Wild family. Mary and River did some fishing this weekend. So keep sending the pictures. Great activities. Great memories that we want to continue to put together for you and, and share out as a community. What else? Um... So boys and girls, it's Monday, happy Monday, um, four day week. And then we go into the vacation. Good Friday is Friday, with the holiday. And then the next week is the vacation. So let's continue to work hard this week, okay? Follow your learning plan, do your best. Remember those acts of kindness, do a good deed, be kind at home, have a healthy lunch, and um, just just keep doing the best you can, all right? And we're here for you. Um, we have, oh, how am I forgetting? I'm going way out, of, way out of order this year, this week this day, sorry. So I'm gonna take it over to Crazy Chris for a weather update. Chris, I'm so sorry. He's been waiting impatiently, or patiently. He's been waiting for me and it looks like we're gonna have a good forecast for today. So take it away, Chris. Hi, it's Crazy Chris for a weather update on Monday, April 6th. Today's weather will be sunny with a high of 59 degrees and a low of 41 degrees. And now today's joke of the day is, what is loud, fast, and crunchy? A rocket ship. Back to you, Mr. Nanny Napoli. Thank you, Crazy Chris, for that update. That was awesome. Um, and that cool joke. So we have, again, um, lunches. Uh, there was a note from the, the administrator letter that school breakfast and lunch will be able to be picked up on Monday, April 6th and Wednesday, April 8th, between 11 and 1 p.m. But boys and girls at home, please have a nice, well-balanced, healthy breakfast and then have some lunch midday so you can keep your energy levels up. All right, birthdays. I'm totally out of order here today, guys. Sorry. Birthdays, no student birthdays, no staff birthdays until Wednesday, April 8th. So we look forward to that. Stay tuned for that. All right. I've covered the important news. I think we're ready to go. I want to get you guys off and ready to work. Um, teachers and staff, if you have any special announcements or information you would like to share, please email me personally or to our Beehive News Live account at beehivenewslive at, CT, at wellingtonct.org. As we do each morning, please join in, in saying our character pledge with me, please, boys and girls. At Center School, we are respectful, responsible, and caring. Do your best and be your best and always be safe. Please be safe. Please wash your hands and please make good choices. All right. Well, that wraps up our broadcast, my broadcast, Chris and I. Also, fourth graders, please reach out or anyone who wants to participate, get involved. Molly, I know you asked. Let's get some videos and let's get some live footing to you, footage to you. Please, please um, send it to me. Um, but that wraps up our broadcast. I'm Mr. Nutty Napoli as of last week. Have a very magnificent Monday. All right. We will see you soon. Stay safe and work hard. Have a great day.